Hello, Twitch chat and YouTube. Welcome to a vintage challenge, 219-2022. Uh, we got a sweet brew in front of us today. Uh, Bizarre Hogak Expert No Props has taken our Elves deck and mashed it together with Hogak to uh, make what I can only say is a interesting creation. Um, so you have the same core pieces that make the Elves deck good. Allosaurus Shepherd, uh, Collector Oof, Force of Vigor, Green Sun Zenith, Deathrite Shaman, Reclaimer. Uh, once upon a time, Force of Vigor, and instead of playing all those bad elves, instead we're playing four Vengevine, four Hollow One, four Bizarre, to add an additional uh, avenue of attack here. Uh, it's a pretty cool deck because you get to play the four Cradles still, but then you also get to go in deep on things like Yavimaya, make your Bizarre tap for green, and we get to play four of the new Besiju, very, very strong um, spell land from Kamigawa. Or from Neon Dynasty, I should say. Uh, one in a green. Destroy artifact enchantment or non-basic land an opponent controls. And they go get a, uh, a land card with that has a basic land type. So this deck is very similar to the Elves deck we played in the PTQ. And it's also pretty similar to the Gak decks that people have been playing recently. Um, it's very much a deck that preys on Urza's Saga Tinker decks. Uh, workshop decks. By playing, you know, uncounterable Force of Vigor, uncounterable Collector Roof. We've got the four Collector Roofs in the 75, plus four Green Sun Zenith. Uh, plus, we have four Besage you now, which really makes those, um, makes things difficult for those style decks. It's, an, it's a deck that struggles against Doomsday, probably struggles against Fair Blue, though your Fair Blue matchup should get a lot better because I played a couple practice matches and one they brought in like, a lot of the times I've been, like, taking out Vigors and just bringing in, you know, like, creatures. And then if they ley line me, I just don't care. I play some creatures and they die anyways, which has been pretty cool. Um, for a little bit, I saw that No Preps had, like, a, a, a Natural Order Progenitus sideboard plan. I wonder if that gets a little bit better now that I've re-added the Dryad Arbor. I think the only change I made from the last No Props 5-0 list was Yavamaya number 4 became a Dryad Arbor. It's the only change I really made, so... Alright, so we definitely didn't get paired against Saga in round one. We probably get are playing a green mirror because we have been paired against uh, Gidra, team leader NA, and we'll see uh, see how that goes. Let's just jump into that action. Okay, here we go. Round one against Gidra. We've got a bizarre hollow one hand, so I'm going to keep that. Currently do even have a green land to play things on the next turn as well. Unfortunately, my opponent will probably be on some other green deck and probably outsize us, but we'll see what happens. They could be back on my blue-red. Black Lotus Mox Sapphire is a good start. Ancestral 2? Why not? Red? Okay, so it looks like blue-red, maybe. Dash a monkey. And Time Walk. <laughs> okay. That's a couple of restricted spells, yeah. Is dashing a monkey with time walk better than just casting a monkey in time walking? Like, now you currently can't recast. I guess you could use your treasure to recast. Mental misstep. Well, that would have been pretty decent in my starting hand. My opponent is down to three cards in hand, so... They don't have a land drop. Interesting keep. Strip mine, that's less than ideal. Stash another monkey. Hit a hollow one. Thankfully they can't cast a hollow one. <laughs> I would have liked to have two hollow ones though. Prayer in. Top bottom. And a Grim Lava Mancer. <laughs> Vintage, man. Vintage. Um, all right. What do I want to do? Grim Lava Mancer against my Elves deck is kind of annoying. 
But I could eat cards out of their yard with Deathrite Shaman, maybe. Though I don't have black mana, so it's pretty hard to eat these cards. So maybe that's not exactly feasible. I think I want to keep a second bazaar because of a strip mine. So maybe it's just like two shepherds and a Deathrite Shaman go away. And then I cast Once Upon a Time. And I get a Venge Vine. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just take this Venge Vine and then hold on to the Hollow One and try to bring back a Venge Vine. Unfortunately, we're going to get our Bizarre stripped, so we can't cast, like, Death Rite plus Hollow One next turn. But, oh, wow, they hit a, a Valk. It's a good draw. And the Ragavan comes in. Yeah. This looks pretty bad for me. Grim Lava Mancer, huh? They hit my black ones. <laughs> oh, Dragavan. Alright, we hit the root walla, so that's really good. Now we can go Double Venge Vine, Root Walla, and play Hollow One. Alright, this game it looks win looks one now. <laughs> All of a sudden we went from can't loot can't win to can't lose. So that's kind of the nice part about the bizarre plan. Uh, take eight. Now I might cast this vigor on Sapphire plus Lotus. Just to slow them down here. Because I don't think anything else really matters. Sure. Maybe I'm supposed to just keep the death right, Shaman. Uh. Are you gonna shoot my root walla? Are you gonna shoot me? Okay, root walla down. You got it. I have twelve power in play, and it's pretty hard for them to cast like a Dak fade in, so. This looks really good for me. I can't imagine they can beat this. So holding the hollow one was a really good play. Okay. I don't even need a bazaar anymore. I did the bazaar thing already. No, I know Gidra usually plays this like blue red. Um, what the hell? Um, blue red tempo deck. I drew another bazaar. Um. Yeah, I guess it's better to try to fish for a hollow one than for... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold this root walla. Um, that way, if they kill a Vengevine, I can have a chance of bringing it back. I guess I could have play, uh, played a root walla to block off a Ragavan. But theoretically, Ragavan should be pretty bad versus me. Okay, so we're playing against a blue-red tempo deck that has main deck Grim Lava Mancers. It has, like, Magus of the Moon. It has Fury, apparently, which seems not great for us. But the Vengevine Hollow One plan definitely did look pretty good. I um, feel like we don't really want Collector Oof. Um, I guess we could keep it in Bog. Hit their Grim Lava Mancer. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm just going to bring in an Endurance. I don't really think any of these... I mean, they're playing a bunch of Wastelands. Maybe we want to just bring in some crop rotations. Um, they're not playing Ghost Quarter, so I don't really feel like we need a Forest. I don't really think we need Strip Mine Wasteland either, though. Could get rid of like just a Wasteland, keep a Strip Mine. Uh, I feel like we don't need all of our Vigors, though they, could pro they probably are playing... Let's go, let's go look at this deck. It's always a kind of a weird deck. Um, obviously, like most decks playing Grim Lava Mancer are not common sites in Vintage. Uh, 
trying to find it, but I'm actually not having a good time finding this. Let me just go to somebody's thing then. Yeah, I don't know. Like, it's possible we want to leave in a collector roof to stop Ragavan tokens. But I don't know. It's possible. We don't need either. Uh, he hasn't played this list in a long time. Actually having a hard time finding it. This is an older list, but this is the idea. It's like two Grim Lava Mancer, two Ragavan, two Magus, a Dak. Leyline is their play, so I don't think we want to get rid of it. I think we'll just get rid of two Collector Groups and a Wasteland, bring in a Crop Rots and an Endurance, and I think that's probably fine. Well, their play is Leyline of the Void. But maybe we still just ignore the Vigors. Our deck does play around Leyline of the Void pretty well by just having like a fair green plan, but our fair green plan gets Lava Mansard, so I'm not really sure. I don't think they're on Murktide. Did it, was there Murktides in this list? <laughs> I didn't see any Murktides. Oh, there's two Murktides. Yeah, there's just like two of every magic card that's existed. Uh, I can go Besage You Shepherd here, but I don't think that's a good hand. It's a good hand if my opponent doesn't have... Um, if my opponent has a Ley Line in the Void, it's a better hand. can just play a fair game plan. But I feel like, I don't know, these green suns look pretty bad to me. I'm just going to mulligan this hand. Alright, I think I like this hand a little bit better. I'm just going to put back the vigor because I don't think we care about the graveyard in this hand. I didn't have a ley line. Probe. Okay. Well, I'm gonna. I'm, I don't have. Mm. This hand looks a little bit better to be. To be honest, but it's like a fair green hand. But I think our fair green hand should be able to beat the blue red deck anyways. But I guess it depends on if we get furied or not. They only have a sapphire and a ruby, so them drawing a mox in every game is a little rough. All right. Well, now I kind of do want to draw a bizarre. I didn't hit Bizarre. It's kind of rough. I guess I will take a land. What the heck? <laughs> I just, I just. My land just changed how this card looks. That's kind of cool. It's kind of weird, but it's pretty cool. So now I could actually go get a bazaar. Maybe that's the play. Maybe the play is just to play a very slow game where I reclaim her into a bazaar and then hollow one venge behind them. It's kind of an interesting idea. Sure, let's let's try it. Hmm, wasteland. All right, well that that unfortunately is very good against my reclaimer idea. Um. Should I do? I guess I can just end of turn once upon a time. It's kind of reasonable. A Deathright Shaman and a Reclaimer. Sure. I will take a Deathright Shaman. What's happening? Am I getting bolted? Sure. <laughs> Got him.
this is kind of cool. We have a lot of choices on how we want to approach the game. They have enough to play a Murktide here, though. That could kill us, right? So they have a Murktide. I don't really didn't think I had much to do about that. Or is this a cruise? No, that's a Murktide. Oh, it's a Gush. And then a Murktide. I guess we're going to have to go wide here. Murky boy. Okay. Huh. They know I have a cradle, so they're probably holding this wasteland. It's not exactly a good draw. Could get a Reclaimer, could get a Shepherd. I think we just get a Shepherd. Yo, what's up, Lackey? I wonder if I was supposed to... Just gonna exile this. Whatever. Getting oof and keeping them off sapphire. I don't think so because it doesn't pro it doesn't progress my game plan. The way I beat this is by attacking through it. So, uh, all right. I don't think I can win anymore. <laughs> Um, hmm. All right, I guess I need another Deathrite Shaman so that I can... Are these mountains? They're not mountains? Because this is turned off? Because this is turned off? If I play another Yavamaya, will they become forest in addition to their other types? Or does that how layers work? <laughs> All right, I'll just play this mountain for now. I don't know how layers work. Maybe next turn we'll try. I don't, I don't think that's how layers work. But I also don't know. Basic island, huh? <laughs> they had the sapphire and the basic island. To <laughs> uh, yes, fair. It's really good to draw your sapphire. In your blue red pile deck. Uh, endurance. These green green spells, not the grace. I guess I should have brought in forest against Magus of the Moon. All right, time to find out how this Yavamaya works. I don't think it works, but let's just try. Nope, it's a mountain. All right. I gave it a shot, though. Oh, wait, I can undo? Okay, whatever, sure. Uh, so I need another Deathrite Shaman, and I need to play Deathrite Shaman off Deathrite Shaman. And then... I don't have enough lands in my yard for this, so what I really need is an Elvish Reclaimer. And I should have put a Forest in my deck. And they have a Lightning Bolt? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, this one looks pretty bad. I mean, they can't attack me, but I don't think that matters. Ah, sure. Yeah. Man, I am losing to a, just the pile of cards, huh? I did draw my emerald after I lost my death right shaman. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, we made some sideboarding errors, for sure. 
All right, so what I'm going to do is I don't actually want these Force of Vigors. I just want a pile of Endurances. I actually didn't keep any oops in. I want a pile of Endurances, and I want this Forest. Which is what No Props did say, and I ignored him, so... I guess that's on me. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> Kind of wild maze for Merktide. Ah, uh, I guess. That doesn't really hurt. I need to think of something to take out, though. Sure. Sure, let's, let's get a maze for Merktide. I don't think that's how we're supposed to play our maze, but it sounds like fun, so I'm down. I hate crop rotation anyways. Maybe I just don't need this strip mine. <laughs> I guess I could strip mine my opponent's island after they play Magus of the Moon. Because Delver strategies are not good in vintage. Damn right, croaked. Cro Why did I say croaked? Crooked. <laughs> Jeez. Hope you don't. <laughs> yeah, bad joke. I don't know. I just don't like crop rotation. I never did. I didn't like it in the elves list, and I didn't like it in this list, but I don't know. I can't believe we got Magus of... I can't believe the opponent played Merktide Regent Magus of the Moon. <sighs> we should not let them do that. Oh boy. That's a Hand of Magic the Gathering cards. Sure hope we don't get ley lined. I mean, people don't even play Delver in Legacy. <laughs> no, of course they had a ley line. Uh, okay. Bizarre, bizarre, and... Vengevine, and then I go Lotus, Deathrite, Reclaimer, Crop Rotation. Or, yeah. I think that makes sense. I wish I had something to play off this cradle. Oh, they just have a force. Sure. All right. I mean, that went badly. <laughs> this is why I wanted to keep in Vigors. But I guess if I had a hollow one, it would have been fine. I guess I could have crop rotted or could have used this reclaimer off of cradle. I don't know. Mist Prismatic Vista. Sure. Ah, uh, see, this went way better, right? Oh, sheesh. Thanks for the raid, Arkin. Hope you had a good stream. No! <laughs> Stop! Please resolve. All right. Well, this this is this is good. Besage you. So that actually kills Leyline. I don't really want to give them a volcanic island though. I think it's not a good play. I think I am going to hold back Reclaimer and Crop Rot into something, though. I just think giving them a Volcanic here looks pretty sus. 
<laughs> I guess I need to eat their yard. Maybe I'll just Bajuka bog them. I feel like I should get a Gaia's Cradle first. I could get a Dryad Arbor. So they're always going to be able to Lava Mancer unless I bog them. I have to bog them using my forest. I should get a bog though so I can use my Death Rite ability. Maybe I should have just gotten a bog off of this, clearing the graveyard. All right, well, I'm going to do this. I probably was supposed to bog them instead of cradling, but it worked out fine, I guess. Interesting, I can hard cast that. If I attack all, they have to make me pump with my root walla. If I attack all, they have to block a root walla. If they block a root walla, they go to if I if I if I lose my root walla, I can't play my hollow one. <laughs> um All right, I think I just attack with these 3, which is a lethal attack, so they have to block And I just pump this. And if they play any spells, I can eat. Yeah, this looks really good. This is my only black source, though. So I, <laughs> I really feel like we should have some way of making black mana in this deck that's not Bajuka Bog and Death Rite Shaman. I don't know how you fit like a black source into this deck, but I feel like our Death Rite Shaman could use a little help. Great success. What an interesting set of <laughs> games of Magic the Gathering. Huh. All right, we'll take it. We played some some fair green beatdowns, and uh, that was enough to beat Layla. See, I like that. I like that part of this deck where we don't actually have to play a Hollow One game plan. We can, or like a Vengevine game plan. Like they can bring in Leyline, and we can just play green creatures and kill them. Seems sweet. It's a good start. Welcome to round two. We're up against Bill's Eye. We played them last uh, challenge. They play four color Death Rate Shaman Pile. Um, I had some problems with four color Death Rate Shaman Pile with this deck, but I feel like it should be a pretty reasonable matchup. Uh, they're also double queuing the showcase, so I expect this to be uh, not the most. Uh... What's the word? Fluid? Choppy, not choppy. Smooth, but it's not smooth. Is not the right one because then that be pace of play. Not to have a smooth pace of play. 
Is that what I'm trying to say? Maybe. Because <laughs> the showcase challenge probably is uh, more more attention. Requires more attention? He's, I am just not Englishing today. Uh, anyways. Timely? Yeah, I guess timely. Woo! Mm. Not, now you're just saying words. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that one. <laughs> yeah, but like right now, how, how does anyone know how many minutes into the showcase round they are? They're in round four. They're only 10 minutes into the round. She, they're currently sideboarding in game two of the showcase challenge down a game. Okay. I'm going to. Why is there wildlife in my house? All right, I'm going <laughs> to gonna stop recording and I'll be back when my opponent returns. Okay, here we go. Uh, round two versus Bill's Eye. Wait, 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 wait. Has revealed Lutri, which means it might be Bill's Eye Lutri shops. Wow, interesting. I didn't, I thought they would be playing the four color pile, but apparently they're 1 0 with singleton shops. So I can't keep this hand, doesn't cast any spells. Um, this hand is kind of bad, but I can go Green Sun Dryad Arbor. So I guess it gets a little bit better. Yeah, I think this is fine. I could also hit like a, a Zar and then go double spell next turn. It, I mean, it could be a blue Lutri deck as well, but... They did have a 5-0 last week with a, a Singleton Shops deck, so. We'll see if they're up to no good. If I don't hit a Bazaar off of this once upon a time, I think the play is going to be Yafamaya Dryad Arbor because I'm worried about not having enough mana. If I do hit a Bazaar, then I can go Bazaar, draw, discard, discard Vengevine, and then next turn go, okay, hit a Bazaar. I can go Yavamaya and play two spells. I think it makes sense to just take this Bazaar here. Of course, like hitting Hollow One Root Walla would be cool too. I wouldn't complain. Though I did just put a Hollow One to the bottom, right? So. This deck's weird. Vigor sounds good though. So, Vengevine. I think I'm going to get rid of. Shepard, it shouldn't matter at all unless they play a Chalice on one. And then one of the Reclaimers. No, no, no. I have to keep both Reclaimers so I can play two spells. Uh, so I guess Green Sun. All right. So I assume this will be Mishra's Workshop, but I'm not sure. It's time to find out, I guess. Yep, Wasteland. That's actually really unfortunate because now I don't have two lands to cast my creatures. Yeah, I could have kept the Green Sun Zenith and then I would have had a Dryad Arbor. But I think keeping a Vigor makes more sense, right? Against Shops. It's going to be pretty hard to get my Vengevine in play unless I draw, unless they don't have a Wasteland, I don't use Force of Vigor, and I draw land. Which I guess is possible. That's a totally reasonable thing I could draw. I mean, I think my pitches made sense. 
it just was pretty bad against exactly Wasteland. So maybe I was supposed to, like, maybe I wasn't even supposed to keep Vigor and I was supposed to just keep Green Sun to play around a, a, a Wasteland draw. I guess that could be, could be true. Another thing is I could draw, like, well, if I draw a land, I definitely would just, I guess... I could, they could go like Workshop Sphere, in which case I would draw land and then try to get a Cradle. Yeah, maybe even that's not that good. Maybe I would just Vigor. Yeah, I'm just like trying to think if this pitch was correct. Survival is just not a very good card in my mind. Especially in a world with Vigor and Beseju and all that stuff. You could definitely play Survival in this deck and it wouldn't be unreasonable. But I, I just don't know if it's like necessary or worth it. You could probably get away with it. I'm like not super sold on these Green Sun Zeniths. I'm not sure. They've been kind of medium for me. I, I get you don't you lose your toolbox package from like normal elves, but you do have you know you have a do have a nice amount of one drops to get. But eh, I don't know. It's definitely something to consider. This how strong is Besage? Well, it's like very good against workshops and bazaar. It's also kind of annoying against like Tinker Citadel, Oath of Druids. It's good. Yeah, main deck needles. It just doesn't feel like a format where you really want to be playing an enchantment with activated abilities. Seems a little rough. Yeah. I'm just thinking, I want, I, the only thing that I might have thought about changing was, in this game, was instead of keeping Vigor, keeping Zenith, but... It's pretty bad against a sphere draw. But then I would have still had like Yavamaya plus Bizarre play Zenith for one. So maybe it was still fine. I'm just thinking like it's really counterintuitive to pitch a Vigor against workshops, but I wonder if it was correct. It's possible. Hey, what up, J Sweat? Thanks. My opponent is playing two matches of magic at the same time. So they are uh, tanking over something in modern. All right, so we are out of mana. We hit another bazaar. Well, that's pretty good. I wonder if we can hit a Rootwalla. Then we have two Rootwallas bring back Venshine. Hmm. Hmm. So I think what I do is, oh man, I definitely am pitching Vengevine Vigor, but I want to hold Rootwalla to try to bring back my Vengevines, but I also need to keep a land and I, I guess I can just keep the land in the Rootwalla. I think that's the play. And then I'll draw a card and draw two cards and discard three cards. I can definitely still have land spell. Yeah. Beseju buffs my Reclaimer, sure. But if, like, I, my, my Reclaimer will eventually be buffed anyways. I'm not super worried about that. Black Lotus, huh? Crucible of Worlds Wasteland. Okay. Alright, I have a 3-4. How do I get two creatures in one turn here? That's the question. I don't know how I'm ever going to get two creatures in one turn against Wasteland Lock. I guess I have to draw like a Sapphire or a Lotus and a creature. Okay. <laughs> okay. Should I just 
kill the crucible. I don't have a basic forest in my main deck, though no props did tell me to put a basic forest in my main deck. It's in the sideboard. <laughs> So I'm going to beat down, but I want to hold this Lotus to try to get two creatures. So I think it's okay if they Crucible back a Wasteland again. No, I think kill it, cast a 1-1 one, one is really bad because I have two Venge Vines in my yard. If I draw any creature, I can just go crack Lotus, play two creatures, bring back two Venge Vines, I win the game. <laughs> I hate this game. All right, well, new plan. Uh, kill the tab. Oh, I can't kill the Tabernacle because I'll... It'll just come back. <sighs> These are all one of, or I guess Tabernacle's not a one of, but Crucible is a one of. If I kill the stupid Tabernacle, then they just bring it back. <sighs> this is really bad. They just had like six wastelands and a main deck tabernacle. It's pretty bad for me. So I could pay for this and kill tabernacle and kill crucible and then draw wasteland. But I only have two Wastelands in my deck. This doesn't feel like it's going to work. This seems like a misplay to me. So if I had filled this Reclaimer with an extra card, they would be at 2 less life, 14. They'd go to 11, and I need to hit... This at least lets me draw lands and play lands without getting Wasteland locked. So, they have a basic island? Holy shit. What a gamer. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna lose to Lutri shops. That would have also dealt with Imagine if I had drawn Crucible and I had hit this and Crucibled them. That would have been funny. Or, sorry, Bazooka blocked them. Uh, this pays for a Tabernacle, so... If I draw Bazaar, we probably win this game. I guess if this thing hits lifelink, we might not win this game, but... I guess they have one sphere of each type, so I shouldn't have been worried about spheres. I should have just been worried about wastelands. Yeah, I think I played this game poorly, if I had to guess. Oh, Chalice on one, sure. Uh, oh my god, I drew Bizarre. Wow. Okay, I mean... I'm very good at this game. So I actually, what I can do is pitch Hollow One, Root Walla, Root Walla, cast two Root Wallas, get them countered, bring back two Venge Vines, and then Wasteland Tabernacle. Oh, but I can't play Wasteland this turn, so that's probably worse. Yeah. That's probably worse. It's too bad I can't keep both of these root wall. I guess I couldn't pay for them anyways, so... Cast, countered. Cast, countered. Should I, like, not play this hollow one? I could just not play the hollow one and pay for Avenge Vine. I don't really feel like I'm supposed to play this hollow one. 
Well, they do gain a life every turn from Adventure's Fair. That is not good. Saga's so good. Mystic Forge is not that good, though, so that's okay. So I definitely won't be activating Bazaar this turn. I'll probably just be drawing and passing. All right, this thing can't get lifelink. If this thing gets lifelink, it's so bad. I don't know what happened, but... It's too bad I don't have a Yavamaya to pay for both. Cradle? Okay, so this gets in. Oh, it got the plus one, plus one counter, so it trades. <laughs> All right, well, now do I activate Hollow One? They will get a creature that's a one, two, three. I think I just hold for one more turn and try to kill them later. Uh... It's a pretty close game. Yeah, I got a... the Exiled, okay. I mean, if they find another Wasteland, it's really bad as well. They also have, like, a Saga probably gets a Cage or some kind of Graveyard Hate, so I think I have to activate this next turn no matter what and hope it works. Wait, they're playing something instead of a... they have a... a Golos, okay. Alright, fair enough. So I think I have to hit a third Vengevine. This is probably getting a Wasteland. Oh, I got a Talarian Academy. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to hit a third Vengevine. That's the play. All right. Well, that could work. No, this is going to get countered. So what I could do is discard these three and play a death right bring back two venge vines put them to one i could discard these three play a hollow one bring back two venge vines put them to one i could discard these three no i want to play a cradle so I think I discard these three, play a hollow one. I think I play a cradle. I'm almost out of Ruwala's. Damn, they gained so much life from the stupid Inventor's Fair. <laughs> and they have another blocker, because they're going to have a Saga token. They could also Caracas back their Golos. They also have, like, infinite mana. And a Mystic Forge. They could also get their Lutri and cast their Lutri. All right. They actually got rid of my Vengevine with the main deck Soul Guide Lantern tutored. Are they going to go get their Lutri? They have Lutri Caracas. No. Oh, wait. All right. So I can't win here, right? I don't think this is winnable now. I could draw... Oh, no, I could draw Besage You. I probably was not supposed to use my Cradle. No, I can draw Besage You and kill a, kill a blocker. But I can't... I can't... I have to keep both things in play, so... There's no reason to Bizarre. Nothing that goes in my yard will be useful. And I will no way, no, there's no way I can cast two spells. So I just have to hope that I can draw into like 
mana source and a Besaju? No, because it will cost two still. This looks like, I don't think this is winnable. Uh, looks like getting to Larian Academy was the right play off this Golos. They like still have a Mystic Forge in play, by the way. There's a Steel Overseer. All right, what a game. Turns out Mistress Workshop and Wastelands are so good you can play Singleton, <laughs> Singleton Shops and be too strong. Uh, yeah, because Telerian's going to let them play for their Tabernacle every time. The, them naturally drawing Tabernacle was really bad for me. I can't vigor them, actually. That's actually something I cannot do. I mean, it is. You lose out on four spheres. It's a pretty big deal. <laughs> My opponent's saying some funny things in chat. Like they forgot they had Lutri this whole time. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't really see any way out. I don't see any way out, but I'll play a little more. Why not? I think if I had enough mana on that one turn and drew Besaju, then I could kill a blocker and win, but I, I didn't have enough mana anyways, so... Yeah, all right. I'm good here. I, I'm good here. Kind of a rough game. I did get quadruple wastelanded or whatever happened. And then Nat, Natty Taber, Tabernacled. But I could have played this game differently if I had Green Sun Zenith. If I had kept Green Sun Zenith instead of... If I had kept Green Sun Zenith instead of Force of Vigor, I could have gotten a Dryad Arbor, which would have given me an additional mana. That probably would have been game winning. All right, I'm going to bring in Chalice on the play, Forest, Collector Oof, and maybe Crop Rotation. I don't know how we're going to... I don't really think I want a Bajooka Bog, even though it hits the one Crucible. <laughs> uh, I don't really want a Mental Misstep, even though they probably have a bunch of one ofs. Um... I feel like I can trim on Shepherds. All the Shepherds matter is for Chalice. So maybe I'll keep a single Shepherd in my deck. And I will trim a Once Upon a Time. A Once Upon a Time. That's kind of weird. I'll trim a Green Sun Zenith. That looks reasonable. Yeah, I know they're all main deck because that's like what you have to do with your 60 card control shops hybrid thing. I mean, I think we could have won that game if I had gone for the Green Sun Zenith line instead of the Keep the Vigor line. I just thought keeping Vigor against Shops was a better play. Um, but it turns out I was wrong, so. Which is weird. It's tough to play around things when their entire deck is one ofs, but the card that isn't a one of is Wasteland and Saga. So I guess that's split. That makes you want like if they like they could draw Saga and then I would want to have Vigor, but they could draw Wasteland and I would want to have um, Green Sun Zenith. I don't know. It's kind of hard to play around one ofs. Are they still playing in modern? 
No. So we should be going faster now, right? <laughs> okay. I mean, I've used almost the same amount of clock as them, so I can't really complain. This hand looks quite good. I could go Emerald, Deathrite. I could go Emerald, Beseju, Collector Oof. I feel like the upside of Bizarre is so high, though. The upside of Bizarre has to be worth it. Yeah. So... I could also just hold open Crop Rot. That's kind of interesting as well. I think I want to play a creature, though. If I can play two creatures, then I have a, a Cradle next turn. So I could discard Crop Rot, Viseju, or Claimer and go Emerald, Deathrite Shaman, and then next turn play a Collector Oof. I think I like that the most. Yeah, I just think that, I don't know. I think playing a hollow one and a mana source looks so good. Like this just looks way better, right? Well, <laughs> we'll see, I guess. Like, they could just not have used Soul Ring and then played, like, two cards off of Workshop. I don't know. I feel like if we can play Cradle here and just have five power, it seems really strong. They named Beseju and then played Trinisphere. I mean, we're, we're, we're so far ahead. <laughs> we're, like, infinitely far ahead. Uh, that could be annoying eventually. Oh, fucking. Okay, yeah. I mean, the tabernacle comes back. I have the cradle, though. The problem is if I get wastelanded, it's really bad now. Uh, I drew a wasteland. Okay, I wonder if I'm supposed to... Hmm. I have to hold the Wasteland in case they Wasteland my Cradle. So I can't, like, Wasteland the Workshop. <laughs> so good, dude. <laughs> Such a good one-ofs. Yeah, I mean, they draw all the good cards. We're going to probably lose this game. Thanks for the raid, J-Bro. Like, I could have hit Workshop there, but I automatically lose the game if my opponent plays a Wasteland, so I just think that's a dumb play. I can't use this Deathrite Shaman to drain them either. Like, I think I need to hit this Tabernacle anyways. So I am locked, like, I am not locked out of casting spells. Like, that's exactly what I want to draw. I can actually hard cast this on Golos and Bridge. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, yep. I have a Bajuka Bog, which I may have boarded out, and other Deathrite Shamans. So basically, no. I think that should be winning. Lantern of the Lost. Yeah, okay. You got me. <laughs> Good top deck. <laughs> I played that game really well, I think. Uh, boy, oh boy. That was kind of nuts. Uh... All right, Chalice goes away on the draw. Bring back in this Green Sun Zenith. Um, I wonder if we just want one one Endurance in my deck. All right, I like how I played that game. It was a pretty interesting game. I thought we were dead for sure. <laughs> Like, we played exactly to draw into that out, right? So. I like it. Man, playing against one of shops is a wild experience. You don't know what's going to happen. Oh, boy. Normally, I would say that this hand is not keepable against shops, but they only have one sphere, one thorn, one trinisphere, right? They powdered? <laughs> okay. They powdered their island, two sagas, a cage, and a nettle cyst. Uh, man, if I get bizarre, it's so bad for me. If I get uh, needled on bizarre. I have a feeling that this is like this is a hand I wouldn't keep against normal shops, but would you keep it against Lutri shops? No. Uh, what the fuck? Sorry, Magic Online has encountered an error. <laughs> The system will attempt to replay the last known stable state and retry the last action. If the replay is unsuccessful, a new game would be started. I guess it was successful. Oh, oh no, we're restarting again. No, no. <laughs> What's going on? This hand's so much worse. <laughs> oh, magic online. <laughs> they powdered again? They powdered a ley line. They have one ley line in their sideboard. They powdered away their one ley line hand. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, at least I have to mulligan now. Uh, this hand, sure. Yeah, okay. I think we're going to lose. I don't know. Magic Online just dipped out. So we get our, our entry fee back, I guess. What is this hand? What is this seven card hand? Look how much mana they have. Okay. Are you gonna name Basaju or are you gonna name Bazaar of Baghdad? Bazaar of Baghdad and Trinisphere? <laughs> Ah, uh, my opponent's too good. All right, so I'm going to hit their two Moxen, I guess, and hope they don't have any more lands. 
<laughs> All right. Well, it's okay. We filed for reimbursement and everything is fine. So my opponent had two turn one Trinisphere hands. Yeah, I guess that's how they're one to know. All right. Well, rough life. I mean, they got two. They got four looks to find Trinisphere because Magic Online restarted it for them. <laughs> oh, oh, two legendary lands, perfect. I could actually kill this Trinisphere with my second Besaidu if I draw a land that is not Cradle. <laughs> Oh, I stopped them from playing spells, though. I think I'm going to play out this Cradle, though. Come on, just don't draw a land for the rest of the game. <laughs> Hollow Boy, can't cycle, unfortunate. I mean, I could cycle it, but I would have to use my Besaidu. All right, my opponent hasn't drawn anything. Ooh, we drew the island. Uh, we drew the forest. Okay, okay. I'm not going to uh, hit them yet because they're going to get an island, right? So, should I just cycle the hollow one instead and just try to draw another land? Like a Yavamaya? Alright, if we were to kill this Trinisphere, on our turn we would be able to play Deathrite, Reclaimer, Basking Rootwalla, Hit Tomb. I think that's too bad. I'm going to cycle the hollow one. I think they have an island in their deck chat. It's not exiled anymore. I think hitting tomb is terrible. I'm just trying to figure out if we should just try to draw out of this Trinisphere. Didn't, didn't happen. It doesn't put them two land drops away from casting anything. They can always draw Mishra's Workshop and immediately cast something. And they could draw another Ancient Tomb and cast something. So what I can do here is cycle my Besaidu and play a one drop and then I can just play from underneath the Trinisphere. Right? I think that's better. I think that's better. Yeah, but I have a Deathrite Shaman that makes a mana. If they have a Wasteland, they'll probably cat say they drew fucking Workshop. Oh, all right, so I'm glad I... Uh, am I glad I didn't kill the Trinisphere? I guess I'm not glad I didn't kill the Trinisphere. Because now they just play whatever the hell they want. Uh, I kind of needed them to whiff one another turn. Hmm. Maybe maybe I just played too greedy. I think the line makes sense, but oh wow. Okay. So I can play this and play a one drop and then eat my land and play another one drop. Yeah, I mean, they're always going to rip Workshop when you don't want them to rip Workshop, right? All right, so I play... This gives them access to... I don't care. I play this. Play a one drop. Exile this. And play a one drop. Now we have a game. We have definitely have a game of magic happening. What's a Trinisphere? Who knows? Just it's so fine. It's just a Trinisphere, right? They have actually two Wastelands and one Saga exiled from Powder. I have to play faster. Maybe I was supposed to play Rootwalla so I could attack with it. I just felt like getting Deathrite Shamans in play with an active Reclaimer was better, because I can, like, get into a new Cradle, use mana. 
Which lands did I keep in my deck? Nothing. Strip mine, wasteland, cradle, bazaar, which is turned off, and dryad arbor. Surgically extract force of vigor. Okay, yeah. My opponent cast their one surgical extraction and got my vigors. That's probably bad for me. We could kill their lands. Yeah, we could just like get a bunch of wastelands and stuff. But that also kills our lands. Unfortunately, it comes in tapped. So maybe I was supposed to play two reclaimers so I could have gotten two wastelands. I don't know. We like we need our spells to cast like we need our lands to cast spells too though. Like if they ever kill our cradle with their own wasteland, it's kind of bad, right? All right, well we don't have vigor to draw to. They have three cards after this. Uh, what a weird game. We only have two Besages left. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it's just going to take a while, right? That's what I'm saying. Like, they're going to get another turn of casting spells. They might just, like, cast all their spells before we Wasteland them, is what I'm saying. I guess we could just draw Alisor. No, I, I discarded our Shepherd. Our, we don't have any more Shepherds in our deck. We, don't, we, we I discarded my one Shepherd. And they have Chalice on one now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I exiled our, sh our one Shepherd. That's why they looked through my deck and then played Chalice on one. All right, we need to win with what we've got. Huh. That could be hard. <laughs> Crop Rot. Oh, that gets a Wasteland right away. Oh, yeah, I guess we can draw one of our two Besages. Oh, this gets countered too. Okay. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how we win this game. <laughs> it's just tough. We definitely, maybe we should have kept more Shepherds in for their one Chalice. I think one Shepherd was perfectly reasonable, right? I thought one Shepherd was, like, totally reasonable. I also, I didn't expect to, like, pitch my Shepherd and then get all of my forces surgically extracted. Like, I'm just getting hit by random one of cards that are kind of barely playable. <laughs> What's the guy to do, I guess? Yeah, okay. I don't know. I, I don't think wastelanding them does anything anymore. I did think about playing Rex Age in my deck, but... <laughs> uh, or the Outland Liberator. Yeah, but I mean, you're like never having six mana anyways all right well now we can't green sun zenith so like all we have left is Besaju. <laughs> uh i don't know this feels really silly Okay. That might work. <laughs> oh, wow. We are playing Magic the Gathering, are we not? Probably should have done that in my upkeep. My reclaimer is not big enough. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Get in there. No. Wait, are we winning? <laughs> Is this winning? <laughs> it looks it looks kind of winning. <laughs>
I can eat a, uh, a surgical. They drew island, so now they can cast something, but they have to use ancient tomb. I wanted to get rid of Yavamaya because I didn't want their tomb to be a forest. And I can still get a new cradle if they ever drew wasteland because I have reclaimer. I can't crop rot. There's a chalice. They took two damage to play what? To play in snaring bridge? Uh oh no no no. <laughs> How are they drawing these? Alright, so I eat this. It's okay, they'll eventually not have enough things to play, right? Can we attack for lethal yet? Did I should I get a strip mine here? Is this a lethal attack? No, I'm one off of lethal. We just need to stop them from casting spells, right? I don't need another Venge Vine. I'd rather have another Cradle. I also, once upon a time is uh is gonna work, right? Well, there's only one more spell chat, but I can attack. We're gonna win this game. Yo, thanks for the raid. I almost ran out of time, but we got there. Dryad Arbor lethal? Did I have a lethal attack last turn with Collector Roof? I might have had a lethal attack last turn with Collector Roof. No, I was one off. What the? F what? What is this game? Oh, I could get Crop Rock countered for another activation. You're you're right. <laughs> I I am speechless. That was a hell of a game of Magic the Gathering. What the hell just happened? Okay. Loot tree shops, everybody. All right, here we go. Round 3, 2-0. We're up against Mog, powerful grinder. Probably on blue-red Merktide, but could also be on aggro shops. This hand doesn't have any usable mana. This hand does. I think I'm just going to keep this and bank on blue-red and green sun for a shepherd. Is that a winning line? Oh, I think I already kept it, so that's the line we're going for. It's also a decent hand against shops, even when you put the vigor away, because you have so much mana. Yeah, I mean, I think... Okay, so it is blue-red. Do they have Ancestral on my upkeep? That would be bad. Sure looks like it. Ah, it definitely feels like it. Mm, yep. All right. That's a good one. So I kind of have to hope here that they don't counter my green sun zenith. Uh, normally, green sun zenith for one is not a very threatening thing that you counter. However, if they know about, yeah, that's a problem. Ugh. Okay, this is going to be a tough game. My opponent not only had Ancestral, but had Force for my Green Sun, which leaves us in a really bad spot. <laughs> they pitched a Thought Scour, so they're really all in on Turbo Merktide. We're going to bring in some Endurances for sure. 
probably will just get rid of Vigors, even though they're going to bring in Ley Lines. Though maybe if we don't ever show them a Bazaar, they won't bring in Ley Line. You'd be surprised how easy it is to hardcast Vengevines in this matchup and have them be good. So that's pretty nice. Now I'm cold. I'm sweaty, but I'm cold. Ugh. Ooh, on color Moxin. My blue red opponents have drawn a lot of Moxin. All right, Ragavan, not a huge deal. Mystic Sanctuary, a classic. Oh, uh, that's a terrible draw. That's right. I guess if I show them Rootwalla, they'll know we're on Bazaar, but what's a guy to do? Oh, I should have played around Diz. Oh, well. I wanted to not show this, but probably bad. I do have a 3-3 root wallow, though. Suck it, monkey. Upkeep. Thought scour. Oh, I don't think I can beat a Murktide on this turn here. So they're really turbo Murktide. They're like four thought scour. Yeah, four thought scour. I like it. A stress of iteration? We're, we're, they're just playing Legacy over there. <laughs> repeal my root walla. I mean, yeah, I didn't think you had a repeal in this deck as well, but I guess it's a good merchant scroll target. I guess I'm trading for this Ragavan. Okay, I don't know how good that is, but I can't, I can't play around another days. That's kind of funny. Uh, all right. Well, I mean, I have some dudes. They're basking. I could always, yeah, this is not going to do anything. All right. Yeah. Probe. Sure. I got nothing. Brainstorm. I mean, the minute they find a Murktide, I think that's just game. I wonder if you're supposed to lay line versus this deck. No props. What do you think about boarding in lay line versus this deck? It's got four Murktide, three Ragavan, two Planeswalkers as its only threats. I feel like Leyline's good here. Found a lightning bolt. That's pretty bad. But I guess I still get to put Narset without another activation. should probably just bolt so they can unlock their ruby and also well they probably have to bolt basking ruwala yeah just block so i have less mana okay that works too i guess i would really not want to get dazed and have them pick up sanctuary but i don't know all right well they don't get another narset activation that's always a plus I think I'm going to board in Ley Line against this deck. It's so threat light that it might just be good. I mean, I have Endurance, so maybe that's overkill. If I board in four Endurance, is that overkill? Yeah, they top decked a Murktide. I mean, it's probably about time they hit a Murktide, to be fair. Don't feel like this is winnable now. But I also feel like their deck just doesn't work if they don't have Murktide in it. I mean, if they play a second Murktide, I definitely die. Now 
No, it's just four. Like their their deck is only four Murktide, three Ragavan. Ragavan's terrible versus me. So if I just Leyline them, and they can't remove Leyline because all they have is one repeal. I, yeah, I'm gonna bring in Leylines. It looks really good against them. Are they winning this race right now? I guess they are. I don't think it's the only way to beat them, but it definitely looks good. There's definitely a chance I could go, like, Reclaimer things, or uh, Shepherd stuff. Yeah, Cradle Shepherd seems really strong. But I mean, the, my my biggest problem with these like Merktide only decks is the fact that they're so so weak to Leyline. And once people realize that, it's pretty well. Like they have Ragavan, which is nice. But against like my deck, Ragavan's just not very good. Well, I mean, I don't think it's a particularly strong deck in Vintage, so you don't see it that often. Uh, I mean, the price will probably go down because it's being opened in drafts, but I don't know how much it's going to go down. If I bring in this, is it just way overkill? Possibly. Could bring in Chalice on one, but that seems like not great. Uh, so if I just take out Vigor and Oof, and then, uh, I might want this. I don't really want Strip Miner Wasteland. It's not really the avenue we're fighting on. Viseju has not really done anything yet, if I can remember. Maybe it killed something. I don't know. I feel like this is just not a Reclaimer match either. Though the Reclaimer can be a 3-4, which is nice. Maybe the death rate is a little bit worse. Uh, let's trim it once upon a time, whatever. Oh, I could trim it beside you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's fair. That's fair. That's totally fair. That's that'd be good. I like that. I wonder if I could trim like two Besages and like play the strip mine just in case they have like just their island. I kind of like that as well. This looks good. I like this. Okay. This is this seems like very reasonable. If we draw a leyline hand, I can't imagine they can be, be can they can even battle it. Like their deck just doesn't function without a graveyard. I don't want to mold the ley line, but I'd really like to see a ley line. I like like I would even be fine with just like Leyline Forest Shepherd. Like it'd be pretty good, I think. No ley line, but I have a once upon a time misstep bizarre hand, so I think I have to keep this. They have a repeal that costs five mana. <laughs> That's not really doable. Um, Oh, maybe I'm supposed to do... The thing is, I don't have any Venge Vines yet, or creatures. Mm, well... I think I'm actually just going to get rid of Deathrite Shaman. And I think I can just put a Root Walla in play, and that with this trick around the stack, I'll cast Once Upon a Time. I probably should have just once upon a time first. I thought I was being cute. Like, I might not play any spells this turn, but... Maybe that was too cute. I drew. I hit a hollow one, though. So that's pretty good. The, the, doing it this way, I hit a hollow one. I'm not sure if I would have hit a hollow one the other way, but... Let's see if they have a force. No force. Okay. I'm really sad we didn't draw a ley line, but um, will I misstep this probe? Will I misstep this probe? Sure. Hmm. 
No wasteland. Cradle would even be pretty good. Oh my lord. Those were bad draws. I don't think I want a second but bazaar here. Can I just win with the free five power? That would be something. So we gotta be careful of Murky Boy. They're at 11. Scroll for Ancestral. Hmm. I don't want to Endurance yet, because I want to be able to... Like, I can still draw Cradle, like Root Wall of Cradle, play Endurance, Vengevine. Oh, we're so close. Oh, I can play Endurance to bring it back. So I can go Vengevine. No, I won't have enough. I could discard three, go Emerald, Deathrite, and then I was going to say Pitch Endurance to get it back, but I can't do that. That's so unfortunate. Uh, so they go to six, and I play a Deathrite. And they have an Ancestral. Like, the problem is if I go to their turn and they cast Ancestral, I don't actually have a window afterwards to stop them from playing a Merc Tide, but their only way of stopping this, I guess they could hit Dak. I guess in response to Ancestral, I could just Endurance. I don't know. I want to play Emerald Deathrite Shaman, and then I could pump a Root Wall on my next attack for lethal, or even a Deathrite Shaman is lethal. I think I have to play. If I play a Deathrite Shaman, though, I can't stop them from Merc Tiding. Do I just pitch the Endurance and keep two Deathrite Shamans? But their only way they win this game is if they get a, a Merc Tide, right? Uh, maybe it's fine. Uh, I don't like this. I really wanted to... I needed one more... I needed, like, a land on my previous turn so that I could keep more cards. So that I could... Or, like, had another creature in play or something. Like, this is putting lethal on the table, I guess, so... Oh, wow. So now they can just play a Murktide? Hmm. I, I, oh, this would have been so good if I, if I had kept Endurance Deathrite. Then we could have just hit him right now. Uh, I didn't think I'd get dazed. Because now they're just going to play a Merc Tide, right? Yeah, I fucked this game up. I would win. I would just win on the spot. Now they have Merc Tide into Ancestral. <laughs> I draw a Ley Line. Uh, hollow one. Oh my god, again. I'm one short of bringing back my Vengevine again. If I discard three and keep a hollow one... I could discard three and just play a death ray, but I can't use my death ray. I would have to hit a root walla. I 
If I get wastelanded, I'm gonna be so pissed. Yeah, it's I didn't play around days. I could have easily won this game by just keeping endurance death ray, and then they daze me for greedily, and I just hit them with endurance as long as they don't have force of will. It's just a win. But now it looks really bad. I really wish we had a ley line. Honestly, maybe I was just supposed to mulligan to ley line. <sighs> Come on! this game. I didn't want to cast Hollow One. I wanted to be able to trigger Vengevine. I felt like that was a more reliable way of winning the game. Like, I get I could attack, uh, I could wait and attack in, and then attack in again, but that just does not seem like a viable strategy. I have to hold this for Vengevine. Actually, I'm never going to be able to trigger Vengevine. They're just going to play two Rook Tides and win. So, ah, this is so sad. I should have just mulliganed a Leyline. They're going to play their one Dak Fade. Oh, no, they're going to play another Merc Tide. Okay. Yeah, I mean, sure. You got it, homie. You got it. No, there's nothing there. Uh, I didn't play this well, but I couldn't. I, it wasn't going to be good enough. I should have just mulliganed to Leyline. My opponent's deck can't beat Leyline. I should have just mulliganed to it. I don't know. Probably just bad keep on my part. We got so unlucky with our bizarre draws that we just never drew a land. If we had any land that tapped for green mana, we would easily win this game. Oh, I mean, I also like. If I had just endurance, if I had just kept endurance instead of double, double death right shaman, and they, I don't know, they could still have had a force of will. Like if they have a force of will, we can't beat that either, right? But I think their deck is just so bad against leyline, we should have just mold until we found a leyline and played out, played it out from there. The worry when you like mold a leyline against this deck is if they just play ancestral recall, they just will probably outgrind you. Maybe I'm not sure. I mean, I just didn't think they would daze me. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. Like, you don't really want to be picking up a land in that situation. I think that play is, like, worse unless they have a Force of Will. So, like, it's better for me to have two Deathrite Shamans because it opens up the ability to, um, to drain them. Like, and I didn't think we would be pitching, like, I always wanted to be playing Deathright Shaman there. So there's, like, not a very large world where we're ever cast, like, the only way we're ever casting Endurance there is if they counter mocks, and I just don't think they're supposed to counter mocks. I think that's not good. Like, they can just hold the daze and daze the Endurance, right? Like, I think countering mocks there is just really bad. I don't really think it makes sense to, to even have kept Deathright Endurance. Like, it might have turned out good here, but it doesn't mean it was right. I think the biggest thing is I probably should have just... I know I had a, a hand that was keepable, but... I feel like we should just mulligan the ley line. Oh, well. Here we are now, round four of six. Vintage challenge, doing okay. Uh, I don't know what my opponent likes to play at all, but this hand is not keepable, so we're going to mulligan... This hand is certainly something, isn't it? I could, like, keep it, put away Rootwalla, go turn one Shepherd or turn one Green Sun for a Dryad Arbor, and then go Shepherd, Deathrite, Reclaimer, try to go for a kill. It's a slow hand, but it might be playable. I could see this hand just being a mulligan. I know this kind of hand is like pretty playable inside of the elves deck, but maybe it's not as playable in this in the because I can't I can't get like a heritage druid. Oh my god, we're gonna die. <laughs> I don't have a force of vigor in my hand. What what? Oh my god, we're playing against goblins. I thought Chrome Mox meant we were playing against a combo deck. Oh, uh, uh like a like a tinker deck, but this seems like we're playing against goblins so if they play like some lackeys we've got lackey covered uh if they do something else we probably don't have something else covered okay matron sure 
I mean, they could just matron for Snoop and kill us. Yeah, they got Recruiter, so they're probably going to go Snoop Recruiter and kill us. I did hit Vigor, so I can Vigor on their upkeep. I think I'm just going to go get my Dryad Arbor. And I'm going to Vigor them and hope they don't have enough mana. The Vigor draw was good. So they have Recruiter now. So I assume they could like set up a Recruiter Snoop kill. I don't really have ways to deal with a Snoop, right? So they did have another land, which is really bad for me. They only have one card left, but they can just go Snoop, Kiki Jiki, and then... Or they can go Snoop, um... The haste, actually, the haste guy was underneath this, wasn't it? Okay, so they probably can't kill me next turn, but they're going to kill me the turn after. And I don't think I have any way to counteract it. I just don't, right? Yeah, they're just going to set up um, a Kiki Jiki kill here on the, not the turn. not They're going to play Snoop the next turn, and then the turn after they're going to kill me with Kiki Jiki. Yeah. 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 Yep. I don't think we can win from here. Yeah, it's actually, like, way harder for me to deal with than... Well, I mean, Doomsday's also pretty impossible for me to deal with. But this is really bad. This matchup doesn't seem good either. I'm gonna just concede because I don't think there's any way we can win. I don't want to show my opponent my deck. I guess they could have stacked wrong or something, but... Oh, boy. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Don't have any needles or anything for this combo, so I guess I can endurance and make them shuffle. No, it doesn't. That's not how this works. This just goes on a random order on the bottom. Can't they kill me on the next? No, because they don't have haste on the next turn. I have one more full turn. Chalice isn't actually good against them either, because they just play uh, cavern. Yeah, this looks really bad. This looks quite bad. I don't really know how we're supposed to deal with this at all. <laughs> I don't think we have, like, cards that do anything. Just seems like a really bad matchup to me. Like, we are not even close to the speed that we would need to be to race them. Unless we have like a hollow one double venge vine draw, maybe. Yeah, that's really rough. Yeah, I don't know. Well, like they can't lackey me because I have like a million creatures. But Okay. Um, I don't even feel like I need any of these. Well, maybe I need one of these. Maybe I just get a uh, Shepherd Reclaimer. And then next turn I can turn something into a cradle and that is not really good enough, but <laughs> I mean, if they kind of kept a lackey hand, it's good. Yeah, Vintage Gobble. Oh my god, I could have gotten a, I could have gotten a Collector Roof, but it's very unlikely they're going to have a crazy Moxen start. Uh, I could have gotten a Collector Roof. I don't think I'm ever getting a Collector Roof there, because getting a Reclaimer in play is so much more powerful. Vintage Gobbos is entirely combo-based. It's not entirely combo-based. It's mostly combo-based, but it also has, like, Lackey into Muxus. Um... Man, this is just a nightmare, huh? I didn't board out oof. I still have some oof, but I just it's just don't think getting oof there makes sense. Okay, they have a snoop. If they have a recruiter here, they can win the game on the next turn. 
I like this is such a fast combo and I have just no I have no interaction whatsoever. I don't know. Getting doomsday and 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 goblined by uh, when I play this kind of deck is very much par for the course. We kind of had to beat Murktide so that we wouldn't be in this set of ma matchups. Oh well. It's like a one it's like very close to a one card combo with recruiter. Okay, so they have a twin shot sniper. Okay, that kills my reclaimer, sure. It's pretty good. Besiege you. I think I would rather just try to find another hollow one. Mm. Mm. This looks pretty bad for me. I mean, we didn't die, so that was nice. Ancient tomb, huh? Oh, no. Are you just gonna... Oh, I got magus <laughs> Again? How many times am I gonna get magus in this tournament? All right, I didn't bring in a basic island, a basic mount, a basic forest either, because that was not something I had intended... I thought I was gonna see. I mean, eventually they'll have to trade this thing off, right? I've been Magus of the Moon twice in this vintage turn. Oh, wait, they don't have enough mana. No, they have... Oh, they do because they drew the mountain. So now they can just get a recruiter and they're going to win the game on the next turn. Oh, this is so sad. We're just losing to nonsense. I guess we are nonsense, so... We are definitely nonsense as well. I mean, it was close. We almost raced it. They have a thorn? Why is there thorn in their deck? Dude, you're playing a creature mirror. You have thorn in your deck still. Uh, losing to this is sad days. I guess I'll let them combo so chat can see the combo. It's pretty cool. Yep, basically, kiki-jiki. And then you make infinite snoops. And then you sack them all. Man. If I had gone for collector roof, it still would have been pretty bad, because they would have just twin-shot it eventually. It wouldn't have really worked. I just don't have ways to deal with this. So basically, they, they do this until they have enough goblins, and then instead of targeting the snoop, they target the recruiter, and then the recruiter puts the sling game on top, and then they sack all the goblins and kill me. Yeah, our deck is just not beat, you know, built to beat this deck, which people don't play. So it's, I mean, that's you can, that's how that's the power of the of the brew, right? That's just the power of the brew. I don't have cards to interact with this kind of deck. Hmm. Really needed to beat Murktide. It's kind of the end all be all there. We've seen how many Saga decks? Zero Saga decks? Of course. Oh no, we saw we saw one Saga deck, Lutri Shops. Uh, I, I, our, our deck just wants to play against Saga decks. <laughs> we just cannot get paired against them. All right. Yeah, like true Saga decks, like Tinker decks. That that's the one everyone's complaining about being everywhere. But we just have not played against any of them. So, kind of a rough metagame call. Yeah, I like Goblins. I think Goblins is a really cool deck. I think Goblins is underplayed, to be perfectly frank. I think the deck is extremely powerful, and people just don't respect it enough. So, I, I mean, I, I don't think Goblins is a bad deck. I think Goblins is just an off-meta choice that our deck doesn't really have the tools to beat, which is a good reason to play it. If you're playing against a bunch of decks that don't have the tools to beat it, it's pretty good. Right now, I would say there are a lot of Lightning Bolt decks, so you're not, like, as good. 
but I don't think goblins is a horrendous choice. Though there are like a lot of main deck needles, so needles are pretty rough against for your combo. So I don't know. I don't know exactly how good of a choice it is, but it's definitely uh, yeah. It also the deck gets worse when there are more creatures being played, so that you can't like, get free lackey wins, and you have to go for the combo. I would say it's probably not a great environment to be playing goblins in, but it's not like an unreasonable choice by any means. All right, so round uh, round five did happen uh my opponent was lower than us on breakers and wanted out of the tournament and very nicely conceded oh my gosh they were one and three how did that happen we got paired like very far down to a, a one and three and so our opponent was very nice and conceded to us so that was what happened in um in round five so unfortunately no gameplay but we do get to play one more round of swiss in round six so i'll see you then all right welcome back We've got one more round of Vintage Elves Bizarre thing. Let's see what we can do here. Show me. Not this hand. I mean, we have a Once Upon a Time. Maybe this is actually keepable. Like, if our Once Upon a Time misses on Bizarre, then we still have Vigor Pitching Rootwalla, some creatures. Like, we could hit a Gaia's Cradle. All right, I'm going to try keeping this. I don't know. Maybe that's crazy. I feel like this hand has, like, decent game against a lot of decks, right? Like, we have access to a Death Rite. We have access to maybe a Bizarre or a Wasteland if we need it. Um, Like, we have chances of still doing a Bizarre Hollow One start if we if we hit that. If we hit a Bizarre Hollow... If we hit a Bizarre off of Once Upon a Time, then I think our start is very, very good because we have a Hollow One Root Walla into Yavamaya 2 mana, play some things, like... Looks quite good. So this is probably in the realm of keepable. Obviously, it's the best if I hit Bazaar. But if I don't hit Bazaar, I still hit Cradle. And Cradle looks reasonable. I'm just going to get this Reclaimer. Because I think Reclaimer gives us the most plays. Like, Reclaimer lets us go get Bazaar. Um, Reclaimer lets us go get Bog. Okay, Wasteland. Sure. Yavamaya down. Definitely don't like that, but it's not the end of the world. Got a Death Rite Shaman as well. Oh, the Death Rite's getting forced. Okay, so we're playing against Bug or Four Color. My opponent pitched an Oko to that Force of Well. If we get Wastelanded again, I guess it's quite bad for us. They have their own Death Rite Shaman. Yikes. Definitely didn't want to see that. Our death rate getting wasted is not great. I think we probably need to get a bazaar. So. Mm. But I also want to keep them off mana. It's kind of tough. I think I'm just going to play strip mine and then turn my strip mine into a bazaar. They have their own strip mine. Oh, that's really good for me. Yeah, that's that's really good. I'll just turn this into a bazaar. I have another cradle anyways. This means they can't play an Oko either. They have to play a two drop. Uh, Renin six? I'm getting Renin six <laughs> strip mine locked? Okay, it still should be playable though. Because I have access to a bunch of free creatures this turn. Rootwalla, Rootwalla, Vigor. Cast. 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 Once upon a time, another hollow one, cast, cast, (laughs) 
I mean, they get to hit my cradle, but do they win? <laughs> oh, they're going to ping my root walla? Okay. And they're not going to... Oh, they have a oh, they have a goif? Goif would be good here. No? Okay. Hmm. Eventually, I can start eating things, too. Ancestral? Yeah. Okay. Uh, upkeep Bazaar. Draw. Second Cradle. So... I'm just going to attack this at them, this at them, this at them, this at Ren. Kill Ren and hold up Deathrite to eat if their Deathrite goes to eat. And I'll hold this cradle in case I get my cradle strip mined. I feel like their deck is so clunky. Yeah, that's never happening. I will not allow that. All right. That was pretty cool. We did some really cool things in that game. Reclaimer looked quite good. Reclaimer into Bazaar seemed pretty playable. I think we want this basic. And I think we don't want Collector Oof. And I think we do want Crop Rotation and maybe some Endurance. And then I don't really think we want Bajuka Bog. We can also trim on Beseju. But we can also trim on Vigor as well. So maybe we just bring in all of our endurances and then keep Bajuka Bog in case they have Ren lock. Yeah, I guess it's fine. I think like just not caring about Leyline is the way to go. And we still have answers to Leyline with Beseju. So this deck is really good at beating Graveyard Hate. Maybe because it's mostly not in the graveyard, but I kind of like this deck. It has like a nice. It has a lot of options, and you can play the, the game in a lot of different ways, which is cool. Mmm, this one looks bad, though. Well, if the Once Upon a Time resolves, I have seven, six looks. Ah, it's probably still bad. Any land? How many lands am I going to have? I'm going to have minus two, I guess, besides Besaju. So I have 17 and Dryad Arbor 16. Yeah, it's probably not good. Let's just mulligan this hand. Uh, is this actually better? I think this actually plays. It's a little awkward, but maybe maybe the first hand was fine. I should just risk it for the biscuit. Mm, not sure. This is a nice one because I do have uncounterable into uncounterable, but this card is so bad against Ren and Six that maybe it's just terrible. Maybe it's just too bad. Uh, 
Yeah, like if this gets run and six pinged, how upset am I going to be? Probably very. I guess if it gets Oko'd, it's not as bad. God, if they go like run and six, if they go like wasteland, run and six, I know they're going to go for Oko, it looks like. Oh, another Deathrite Shaman and what? Time Walk and Pass? Interesting. Interesting. I don't know how exactly I'm going to play this out, but I think I'm just going to pass. I have lots of cool options here. They have double death right, so they do beat my death right if they want to. Do I want to crop rot this? Sure. I'll crop rot this. into a bazaar. From, hmm. I don't know if that's correct, but that's what I, I'm leaning towards. And then I'm gonna use the floating mana before I lose the floating mana. No, I don't need to use the floating mana before I lose the floating mana because my, because my bazaar is actually a forest. So I can actually hold on to the Endurance in case they use a Deathrite Shaman. Which is kind of wild. Which they're not going to do. So end of turn, I will cast Endurance. And I will Endurance your Wasteland away. Okay. And then I get to draw. Wow, I kind of want to just play this Reclaimer. Kind of don't want to use my bazaar. What a weird game. Very fair game. Yeah, I mean, while it's uncounterable, I might as well get this reclaimer in play and then I can turn something into a cradle later. <sighs> I could always cycle this hollow one as well. Don't know how good that tabby. Hmm. I think I'm going to see if they'll just eat this. They just let me. I think I'm just going to cycle this hollow one. Oh, oh, I can respond to this cycle on the stack and activate Bazaar. That's insane. But I guess they have death rate, so maybe it's not insane. <laughs> I didn't really think about that. That's kind of cool, though. Oh, they're going to stifle? What is happening? Why is my hollow one getting stifled by the stifle bird? My, what is, what is going on? Tabernacle tap for green to cast to cycle a nimble obstructionist to counter my hollow one cycle. What the heck? Ugh. I had another hollow one. That's unfortunate. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I guess I need to just use all of these. And pay. This is so bad for me. What do I want to do here? Oh, I, I, I couldn't get Cradle because it was still summoning sick. So I have to lose almost all of my creatures to get Cradle. So they'll have to pay for their own things as well.
I don't want to get Cradle. I could get Wastelanded. I definitely want to pay for that. I should I should activate I could pay. I don't want to pay though. I want to activate and get a crate. I mean, it's too late. I just can't get a cradle. It's just way too late. Which means it's going to turn on their force of will. I guess I could just pay for three things and just not pay for the shepherd. Just draw cradle. Yeah, I mean, I think the Shepherd's the worst on this board. <laughs> it's, it's so free! <laughs> Who needs Vampiric Tutor? Sick! <laughs> All right, now they have to pay for their Death Ray Shaman, though they can tap their Cradle to pay for Death Ray Shaman, which is kind of insane. But I guess I tap my Bazaar to pay for mine, so I guess it I guess it vibes. Even if they wasteland it, I have active Reclaimer, <laughs> which is I should probably get rid of the Yavamaya. Should I get rid of the Yavamaya? Mm, I don't know. I think it's better to hold open for Wasteland. I mean, I could do it now still. But I kind of want to pay for my stuff. Well, at the very least, I can make them use their death right. They don't want to use their death right. I mean, I should just turn this bazaar into something useful. What would be useful, though? I could just get a strip mine and get rid of this tabernacle later. I don't know. It's probably okay, though. I do have a Dryad Arbor. I don't know if that really helps me, though. I guess I could get rid of the Yavamaya for a Dryad Arbor and make them use... Well, then I don't have an extra mana to... This was so bad. <laughs> this was terrible. I'm just going to get another Yavamaya. Because now I can't tap things and keep... And still have Reclaimer up next turn. Yeah. <sighs> I didn't like that. Just deck then. Yeah, yeah perfect. I think I just want to keep all... I can do this in the upkeep. It doesn't help me, though. So I'd rather just have an extra forest once upon a time. That one's not great because I want to hold everything up. So I'll just leave it up. And then if my opponent goes to eat my land... I mean, I'd let that happen. But I could eat my land on their end step and do it once upon a time as well. So they might just eat a creature here, though. But I could eat a creature back. It's pretty good for me. Like, they get to do something on their turn, but, like, they have enough mana anyways. And I'm still holding up Reclaimer activation for a Wasteland, and I still have End of Turn Once Upon a Time, so... It looks okay. They're gonna crack? Why? Why would you crack for a forest when you already had a forest? Kind of odd. Maybe they need double green. But they had double green. Maybe they need triple blue. <laughs> Invoke. Yeah, I think the Yavamaya making my Bizarre mana source is better. Is is just as good as... It's like worth more than giving their Tabernacle an extra mana source. 
It's better for me that I keep a Yabamaya. I might just get rid of my Bazaar and hit something better. But I think it's probably better to just cast Once Upon a Time here. All right, this got forced because I no longer have a Shepherd in play. Fair. <laughs> I drew another Shepherd. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I'm attacking. I'm still pretty far from an activation of this thing, right? I don't really need an activation either. Uh, this is going to take the... Yeah, I don't care, right? Unless they're trying to get... Are they trying to get enough mana to cast Dig Through Time? Well, either way, I should just respond to this with Death Ray Shaman. I mean, this lets them gain two life next turn, but I think that's fine. They can then they're not blocking, right? I, the my, the worry I have is that makes them have five mana plus three cards in yard, and they can cast Dig Through Time. So I can turn my Bazaar into a Wasteland to get rid of the Tabernacle, and then eventually I'll have a pump, but I don't even know if I need a pump. Do I really need a pump in this game? Oh, they just let the Death Rite go? So they can dig cast Dig Through Time? Is that what's happening? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, turning my elves into 5-5s five doesn't seem like that would be a thing that was good. What is happening? What is my opponent doing? Why is the death right dead? What is going on? Dig through time, right? Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I, I had the soul read on that one. I'm pretty happy with the way I played with that reg in that regard. So they were trying to get a wasteland for Cradle, but I have an active reclaimer, so that doesn't work. Maybe they're just trying to find a bolt. I mean, they're currently dead on board. I can just attack all. Because they got rid of their death right shaman. I mean, I top decked cradle the turn exactly I needed to top deck cradle, but... You know, you take those. Nice tabernacle. <laughs> uh. Eat cradle? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh! Oh, there is eight cradles. What? 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 I had no idea. <laughs> but I only have seven cradles in my deck because I cut a Yavamaya today. We need to put it back so we can have eight cradles. <laughs> I did cut one today. Oh, they're digging for the lightning bolt. I think we got there. Okay, yeah. Tarmogoyf. No <laughs> black mana. We're <laughs> playing four color nonsense. Fair enough. Three nice tropical islands. Probe. I got, look ma, no hand. Tundra balance. Don't say things like that. <laughs> uh, GG's, Al Nash. GG's. Not a bad showing, actually.
Not a bad showing. You got top eight on goblins? Very nice, goblins. I'm happy for you. It's a cool deck. It deserves to get some top eights every once in a while. Renee, classic 6 0. What a master. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so it's seven plus AWEP at 4 2, probably, or Clone 9 or True Hero. Um, one of those players. So, not bad, though. Not bad. I'm pretty happy to just get the nice winning record with this deck, so. Um, it was fun. It was a good time. Let's do a quick review. What do we like? What do we not like? Um, I liked how the deck had lots of options. I like how you could play a very fair game plan. You didn't really re revolve around Bazaar of Baghdad, but you could still use Bazaar of Baghdad. It also made people bring in hate, and I always, like, boarded out Force of Vigors when my opponent would bring in, like, Ley Lines, because I felt like I could play most of my games I played, like, a very fair green plan, which is cool. Um, I don't know exactly how to make the deck better. I feel like we didn't even hit the matchups that were supposed to be good for us. We played against exactly zero blue Saga decks. We played against uh, one Workshop Saga deck. Uh, and then we played against two blue reds, some four-color nonsense, and um, two blue reds, four-color nonsense. I don't, I don't remember anymore, but I don't, this was pretty cool. Like, I really think we didn't even hit the decks we were good against because, like, we didn't really get to use Besage you, Force of Vigor, uh, which is probably the strongest part of this deck. Collector Roof, Besage you, Force of Vigor. We kind of just had to play <laughs> play random fair green plants. Oh, yeah, we got killed by goblins. Oh, yeah, we, were, we were always going to lose to goblins. That was too that was too rough. My opponent, I think, uh, in round five would have been on the mirror. So that would have been kind of interesting. Uh, but I don't, I don't know. It, I don't know exactly how that goes. Probably a complete mess if I, if I had to guess. But this was fun. This was a cool deck. I probably won't stream this deck again in the near future. I think the next deck we need to play on stream is something with uh, the patchwork automaton. Um, yeah, I think like a, a null rod aggro shops maybe. That seems like the next next place we should explore. And uh, yeah, I mean that's that's, that's what we we've got a couple of Kamigawa blues still to go, but. Neon Dynasty has some sweet ones, even if we didn't really get to use Besaju to its fullest today. Uh, there will be more Besajuing, I'm sure, in the future. So, uh, yeah, see you in the next video.